Now we're talking to John O'Connor, he's brand development manager for Scotland for the Glasgow distillery. John, thank you for being with us. It's my pleasure, thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about the distillery? Uh, so yes, our Glasgow distillery is um, halfway between Glasgow Airport and the city centre. In fact, uh, our position puts us uh, the first independent single malt producer in the city of Glasgow for over 115 years. Uh, we launched the distillery in 2014 and we laid our first cask of whiskey in 2015. So that uh, makes it more than three years old now and you have uh, your own uh, bottlings. Could you tell us something about them? So at the moment we've, uh, we've launched two products. Our original uh, was launched in 2018 uh, and now we've moved on to 2019. We've released our unpeated version. Uh, this one's currently sitting with gold medals in category of best lowland single malt whiskey in the world and best young single malt whiskey in the world. Uh, our second bottling this year, in fact, is our peated version, which has been very, very successful at this show so far. This one's uh, sherry matured and finished in virgin American oak. Uh, this is a peated whiskey. And as I said about us being the first distiller in Glasgow in over 115 years, this is in fact the first PT whisky to come from Glasgow. So in fact, we're quite the company of firsts. Uh, we also produced Glasgow's first ever London dry gin of Macar also. So very much pushing boundaries and bringing distillation back to the city of Glasgow. And there's a third uh, bottling coming out next year? So next year, yes, uh, we plan to have a, a core range of three products. Uh, we've got our unpeated, our peated, and then looking for about next, um, next year, early springtime, we should see our new triple distilled um, unpeated whiskey coming from Glasgow Distillery, putting us at three for core range. That sounds interesting. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your stills, where they are from? So we now have four stills, two stills of which have just been installed, not fully plumbed in yet, um, but no, our stills are from Germany, in fact. Um, based on a space ice style, um, Macallan stills, but squashed down a little bit smaller, gives us a lot more copper contact. Um, in fact, we do things a little bit differently. We have quite a lengthy fermentation process, 72 hours. The smaller dis uh, stills, providing that extra copper contact, provide us a wonderful new make spirit before we even touch the wood. Would, would you describe your, your style as lowland style or is it very independent from, from the styles that we know? So officially what we attempted to set out to do was to create the famous space side style or concept on how we create our whiskey. However, we produced it in the lowlands using our water and using our different wood policies. And uh, the process that we use, as I said, is quite lengthy. Um, so it is actually a space side style, but very unique and particularly very unique to the lowlands. So, John, thank you for the interview. Have a great time here in Mulham. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you.